So a federal judge will now decide if a former chief of staff was sexually harassed and wrongfully terminated by a Fulton County commissioner. Calvin Brock claims he had to maintain a sexual relationship with District 4 Commissioner Natalie Hall in order to keep his chief of staff job. While Hall says the sex was consensual and did not amount to harassment. Fox News Angelique Proctor follows, is following this from federal court, where testimony Angelique in the civil case wrapped up today, right? That's right, Christine. Testimony finally came to an end. Now, former Chief of Staff Calvin Brock says Commissioner Hall would not let him keep that job without the sexual component. Meantime, Hall's attorneys say Brock was all good with the sex until he wasn't. Calvin Brock's attorneys say once the 51-year-old wanted out of the sexual relationship, Fulton County Commissioner Natalie Hall invaded his space by going through his computer, answering his phone, and even planting three tracking devices in his car to monitor his every move. They claim the Army and Navy veteran had nowhere to turn and felt trapped in the sexual relationship in order to keep his $125,000 a year job as Hall's chief of staff. They say Commissioner Hall fired Brock just two days after listening to him plan a date with another woman via the tracking device she planted in his car. Covington police confirmed Hall purchased all three devices. On the other side, attorneys for Commissioner Hall say Brock initiated all of the sexual encounters the two had over a year and a half. They say he was not in fear of losing his job and in fact was dominant over and even disrespectful to the District 4 Commissioner. The attorneys for Commissioner Hall concede while the consensual relationship was distasteful, none of Hall's behavior was illegal. Administrative Law Judge Jason Patel, who asked lots of questions during the six-day trial, will make the final determination. And don't expect that decision to come anytime soon. I'm told with these we could finally get a result in September or maybe even October. We are live from the Fulton County Courthouse. I'm sorry, the federal courthouse, Angelique Proctor. Fox All right, Angelique, thanks so much.